Hi guys, so here she is. This is the Hypolo CG that I've just um, finished building um, and it's been nicknamed Hyper Snow for the simple reason is we had about 13 inches of snow yesterday. Um, everything is uh, gridlocked um, where I live in Norfolk and um, kids are off school so this has been a fun little project to do around entertaining my son and sledging etc. Um, so as I said in my initial review of this um, with a 15 mil stack and I've used the Airbot uh, Mr. Copper Motors and the Airbot Typhoon 32 V2 and um, Omnibus F4 V5. And the reason I built it in this configuration is somewhere down the line I quite fancy trying 5S or possibly 6S. And the Typhoon 32 V2 um, supports 6S as does the F4 V5. And while these motors are only rated to 5S, um, I'm not really looking for speed, I'm more looking for um, efficiency. So that's just something I was, I was bearing in mind um, down the line. Really handsome quad, I'm pretty happy with how it's turned out. And it's been a relatively straightforward build. Um, I did do a sort of bit of um and ah in about components and I did consider building it um, with a 10 mil stack but I wouldn't have been able to use um, the components that I've put in. So I've just kept it simple for now. So what I'll do is I'll take the top stack off and then I'll talk you through the components. Right, so here she is with the top plate removed. And as you can see, I've basically just built it in the normal layout. So at the front, we've got the Foxier uh, Mini Pro, which has newly been, just been released. We've got the XM Plus, receiver which is running up into these antenna tubes we've got the f4 omnibus f4 v5 and below that the typhoon 32 and at the back we've got a tbs unified pro high voltage and at the back tbs triumph antenna i need to get a shorter version of this actually don't think um, the triumph antenna works any better than any of the cheap antennas that i usually use um, but what it does do is last longer um, so I'm beginning to think that it might just be worthwhile buying um, some more of these but getting the stubby versions. Um, this has been a pretty straightforward build. The only thing that I would say um, is that Hyperlow would be a lot easier to build if, I've cho if I'd chosen a flight controller which had built-in grommets um, rather than this sort of flight controller where you have to soft mount yourself. So if I take off the flight controller, little nuts, and then you'll be able to see what I've done a little bit better. So the issue that I had here, or not an issue, but the thing I needed to be to be aware of, is that Richard's design, get that out later, Richard's design had um, the metal bolts which run up here, um, holding the arms on. So I needed to be aware of that when I was choosing my components. And as I said, if I'd have used a flight controller with built-in soft mounts, it wouldn't really have been an issue. But because I'm using this one, I had to add in additional soft mounting. So what I've done is just use the usual, oh, there's that nut I lost. I've just used the usual um, kind of rubberized spacers. Um, and the good thing about using these is because again we've got this metal bolt running up and through I wanted this part of the frame to remain pretty strong and the benefit of these over sort of uh, sort of plastic spaces or something like that is the, the bottom of them um, is metal so it allows me to get a much tighter grip onto this particular bolt and because we've got fiberglass um, plates either side of this, I could basically just sit the Typhoon 32 on top. The only thing that I had to be careful of is the components on the Typhoon 32 run really, really close to the um, 30.5 mount hole. So what I've done is just slid a little bit of double-sided tape under either side just to give those components the tiniest little bit of um, soft mounting or vibration damping um, just so I don't break anything. So you can see I've got acres of space underneath the 4-in-1 uh, ESC should I wish to turn it over and run a battery strap. And when I put the flight controller on top I've got also got acres of space inside and 
that's the downside of using as I said a flight controller that doesn't have built-in grommets um, simply because I've ended up wasting so much space if I'd have used you know a CL racing F4S or the race flight one that Richard used on his build or Joshua Bardwell's um, F4 flight controller with its built-in grommets I would have been able to sit this flight controller much lower down but the reason why I didn't go down that route is as I said given that I'm probably going to use 5 to 6S but more importantly if I'd have gone down that route I would have lost this rather simple way of connecting the two together and it wouldn't have been as easy so just to keep my life simple I've simply just used the, the connectors on both which basically allows me to just um, really easily wire the two together um, and the only wiring I've really had to do is just the camera um, the VTX and of course the um, the receiver so if you are going to build one of these and you wanted to build a really tight stack and give yourself as, as much space as you possibly could then I wouldn't use these these components but the build has been absolutely fine for me doing this the only issue I've had is the new version of the Typhoon 32 which is the one I'm using should support um, BL heli uh, telemetry so ESC telemetry on the version 1 it came with um, basically ESC telemetry but it also came with the usual analog current sensor and on version 2 they added a lot more capacitors to the 4 in 1 ESC and basically upped the rating to 6S but what you lost is the analog current sensor and the idea of this now is that you can just use this one cable run it to your flight controller and you'll be able to get ESC telemetry but I have not up until now been able to get it to work and I've tried everything I possibly can do I mean, I'm really familiar with these boards um, I've changed the jumpers I've set it all up in BL Heli I've tried everything I can possibly think of to do um, and I can't get ESC telemetry to work um, so rather than allowing me that to slow me down um, as you know if you've watched this channel I'm not a huge um, fan of current sensors or telemetry or anything like that I like my OSD to be simple so all I need is voltage timer um, and RSSI which the um, the XM plus will give me so I haven't really worried too much about those uh, but, but because this ESC is um, BL Heli 32 um, I've obviously got a little bit of f future proofing in there um, in my testing in uh, on other quads I don't really see as it makes a huge um, advantage versus um, running D-Shot 600 on uh, BL Heli S um, so I wouldn't worry too much about that if you're shopping for components you don't need um, BL Heli 32 um, and certainly I don't need its, uh, its sensors and RPN limiters and all the rest of the stuff that it comes with um, it's just tech for tech's sake in, in my opinion although lots of people do um, so it's, a, it's a really much a personal choice so yeah so that's pretty much it to be honest with you um, not a huge amount to say um, really straight straightforward build everything connects really nicely together because of this um, this pin connector don't know why ESC telemetry is not working as I've said there are jumpers you can play around with on the flight controller but even setting it to the current sensor and all the rest of it um, I can't get it to work um, I could default back to doing it the same way as you did on the version 1.1 which was to connect four wires to the tiny pads on the ESC and then basically attach them to this rail um, and, and set the jumper to um, to give ESC telemetry that way but frankly I can't be bothered it's not really worth it um, for me so my plan is to run this guy this year this is going to be one of my main quads and I've got a few other quads that I'll probably run alongside it as well um, freestyle quads um, in terms of future builds there's a few quads which will hopefully shortly be released that I'll be um, I'll be getting sent and also I've got a bit of a penchant to build the uh, vert freestyle frame and on that particular frame then I'll I'll go all out um, and drop it down to 10 mil and probably use a, an all-in-one flight controller ESCs etc but as of now this is what I'm going to be running um, so far I absolutely love it um, I haven't found any particular issues or anything like that when I've been building it 
Um, the only thing I would say is just choose your components wisely. If you want to, if you want to free up some space, just use um, a flight controller with built-in grommets. Um, the only thing of note to say is because I'm using motors which I've used on another frame, I was rather short of motor wire. So what I could have done if I'd had longer wires is run them down and then up um, underneath the, the plate which would have made for a slightly neater build but doesn't really bother me in either way. And the only other change I've made is in a tip to Richard and his logo I've just added a bit of orange tape underneath the battery pad uh, just to show off the Hyperlow logo. So yeah, hope that was useful. Uh, last thing to mention, I'm using a very small capacitor. The Typhoon 32 version 2 comes with two capacitors. Uh, I think the first one is very small and is 220 UF and the second is massive and is 2200 UF. So if I wanted to run this on uh, 5 or 6 S I'd probably just change this small capacitor uh, for the larger one just to protect, give myself a bit more protection. But yeah, be interesting to see how this flies. Um, in terms of the frame I haven't really got any worries. Um, in terms of the motors it's really just going to be a suck it and see to see how much efficiency I can get out of them compared to the T-Motor F60 uh, Pro's 2500K that I usually run. Um, yeah, and I may choose to run them on 5S, not for performance, but just to, um, just to really see if I can get less sag. So, hope that was useful. Any questions, give me a shout. Otherwise, thanks very much, Richard. Um, I think the quad is absolutely lovely, and I look forward to flying her. Cheers. Bye-bye.